800 divisions, this is your special warfare divisions. They're comprised of your EODs, SWIG candidates, SEAL candidates, air rescues, and divers. The major thing from them is we hold them to a higher standard and they PT twice a day. First thing in the morning and then they PT again in the afternoon. The biggest thing that I'm seeing so far is a lot of them come in and think it's a video game. It's real, the, the stuff's real. And once they get here, it's just a huge eye opener. If you think that boot camp or Bud's Prep is just working out all the time, there's much more than how physically fit you are. You have to become a sailor first before you can actually go on and do your job, what you're supposed to do in the Navy. Much like many of the people in special programs, I thought I was gonna be a lot more working out. There's still a fair share of working out, but it's a lot more sailor work than I thought there was gonna be. And I enjoy it, I just wasn't prepared for it. Yeah, tying off mooring lines, things with the ship. Uh, we start firefighting this coming up week, so we'll learn all about firefighting. We've learned all the basic seamanship, how you're supposed to basically live if you're on a ship, as far as where you put your clothes, how you do your clothes. Not so much what I wish I would have known, but I wish I would have studied more. I didn't really study my chain of command that much, and that's a big one to get down right away. I wish I would have studied the book my recruiter gave me more. 100% he needs to understand that when you decide to go through one of these programs or come into the Navy itself, to change their lifestyle. Number one, it's, it's, it's for real now. Life starts. Once they get off that bus, once they sign their name, once they raise their right hand, that they are making a choice to defend their country at all costs. It is 100% serious, locked on, ready to go.